as we learn more and more about our sun, our earth, and the earth's magnetosphere, the more we have to worry about what's coming. You're looking at a graphical analysis of the potential recharge and charge effects of the Van Allen belts. The earth is electric. The universe is electric. Our solar system is electric. And a global magnetic anomaly has been recently detected during a deep solar minimum, the solar minimum of cycle 24. This anomaly was detected on June 23rd with experts using magnetometers, a device that measures magnetism, noticing an unusual wave appear in their data. The wave appeared at a time when there would be little to pick up on. Earth's magnetic field is generated by supposed liquid iron core and protects the planet from solar wind. The stream of charged particles that comes from the sun now, the magnetic field interacts with these particles, and when there is an influx, magnetometers can detect these anomalies. But the recent anomaly was detected during a time when it shouldn't have occurred. Now, spaceweather.com says this disturbance was noticed around the world, with a global network of observatories picking up the anomaly at the same time. What caused the anomaly is believed to be pulsation continuous, PC. Now, pulsation continuous is not known in the general public, but PC waves are very slight fluctuation in Earth's magnetic field that can tell us how the field is interacting with the wind. And this disturbance is not normal. Now, welcome to Solar Cycle 25. The grand solar minimum has arrived. And 25 is, well, a blank disk, period. Now, what we do know is that the magnetic field since about 1600 has been waning. And at 1850, it really kicked, kicked off into descent. And by 2000, we were losing 5%, 10% per decade. And the numbers have been increasing. Take a look. 1850. 2000, 2010, 2015, boom, straight down. Now, this is a sign of magnetic excursion or reversal. We don't know which. We won't know until the event occurs. But what we can glean from this data is that the event is coming, and it's coming very soon, in the next decade or so. What that event is, is a magnetic excursion. Now. If we break down the polar positions since 1600, we can see what's occurring. Top left is the North Pole, bottom right, South Pole. And you can see sometime here around 1800, things change and things start moving rapidly. The North Pole has raced across towards the polar position. It's moving towards Siberia. And the South Pole is now off the coast of Antarctica. This means we're experiencing a geomagnetic excursion. Now, we know about dozens of these, but in recent history, here are the last six. They occur every 12,500 years or so. The Gothenburg, the Lake Mungo, Mono Lake, Le Champ, Vostok, and the North Atlantic Anomaly, all magnetic excursions happening on that 12,000-year timeline. Today... We will call it the global warming excursion because we're living the next magnetic excursion. Are we about to have a magnetic reversal? If you listen to USGS or other large conglomerates of scientific data, they're going to tell you the exact opposite. But all data suggests the opposite of what they're saying, that we are entering a magnetic excursion. What causes these reversals? No one knows. Can rapid mass, can rapid magnetic reversals cause mass extinctions? Of course so. Of course they can. We've published the information on this site, ad infinitum. Here's another paper, recordings of fast paleomagnetic reversals in a 1.2 million year rich sediment archive from Lake Orch in the Balkans. Earth's magnet, 
magnetic field flips have triggered mass extinctions in the past. And I'll leave you to this article from Discovery, which lays it out for you in layman's terms. At several times in Earth's history, mass extinctions have come close to wiping life out altogether. However, that's never actually occurred. The reason for these catastrophes are unclear, but they have been blamed on everything from asteroid impact to cosmic ray blasts. I'm leaning towards the latter, cosmic ray blasts. These occur during magnetic excursions. When the magnetosphere is weakened, then we are susceptible to these rays. Hyperactive magnetic fields have led to some of the most major mass extinctions on Earth, including the Cambrian Explosion and the Ordovician Silurian. Now, under simulation magnifying glass. Earth's magnetic field has reversed direction hundreds of times in the course of our planet's history, as far as we know now, probably thousands or tens of thousands when we finally reveal all the facts. But simulations on the PIS supercomputer may have explained why. And if you read this paper, you won't believe it. But the reversing mag magnetic field of planet Earth has some amazing audio, apparently. But what you're going to find is that scientists in the last decade or so have only begun to unravel what's actually happening with our magnetosphere. Our world and beyond space in partnership with the European Space Agency. <laughs> Man, it's hard to do a video. It's almost like a schmidio. Now, the magnetic field generated in the fluid metallic core of planet Earth is shown, but this is just a hypothesis. The numerical simulations of the dynamo mechanism, also a hypothesis. We can't even drill down into the mantle. So the information that we're claiming that we know about the center of the Earth is due to gravity anomaly and other seismic studies of the subsurface, including earthquakes. We do not know what's actually happening in the center of our planet, which is quite embarrassing because we claim to know a lot. Now, Earth's magnetic field vibrates like a drum also. Were you aware? The Themis spacecraft has proved this. That the outer boundary of Earth's magnetic shield reverberates like a drum. The magnetopause. And this is what protects us. From utter destruction, devastation, the magnetopause is what's keeping cosmic radiation away from the human person. Now, with all the hype about global warming and we're all going to die, researchers are shocked to find Antarctic penguins much happier with less ice. This is a feel-good piece for the end of the video. Researchers have been surprised to find the Adelaide penguins in Antarctica prefer reduced sea ice conditions. Not just a little bit, but a lot. As climate models project rapid reduction of the continent's sea ice and fear-mongering for the rest of the century, this iconic polar predator could be a rare global warming winner. Well, I doubt it, because the whole fear-mongering over polar bears, while their populations increase to record numbers, same thing's happening with penguins. While scientists literally torture creatures by super gluing cameras to their back, this is disgusting. The scientists that decided to do this should be held criminally liable. PETA should burn down their house and so on and so forth. This is disgusting. You don't have enough time to go spend some time in the Arctic and video these animals. You got to tape a camera to their back, go back to university. You're pathetic. This is not science. This is animal abuse. And what we've proven by it is that they're. Even though you're abusing the animals, they're proliferating. That's how pathetic you are, scientists. And polar bears, by the way, over 60,000 polar bears worldwide, an increase of 1,000% since we first cataloged polar bears back in the 1950s. The mainstream will never tell you that. You know why? Because they also won't tell you you're living a magnetic excursion. 
where the entire planet is about to change. All the species will evolve. You will evolve. <laughs> the power networks that we call civilization, yes. The empires, they will fall too. They fall all the time during magnetic excursions. You're being prepared for the big boom. Hope you got something out of the video. Big boom coming soon. And the polar bears will dance all the way to the bank. I hope you're not a crank. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance when you are being irradiated at every level. And the poles are shifting. Not quickly, not slowly, rapidly. Rapidly running towards the equator as we speak. Share this video with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel. Don't believe the hype. It's a sequel. Mainstream media is a liar. They're keeping you compliant because they're preventing proper preparation for the future. A future which will reset the boundaries on human possibility. This is not a catastrophe, folks. This is the beginning of the rest of your lives. Learn how to meditate. Shinrin Yoku. Wild harvest, wildcraft, plant your own food. Learn how to be self sufficient and sustainable. Times are changing. We love each and every one of you. Get the facts because mainstream science will not share with you the facts of your future. They will mandate a face mask so that you comply. But are you learning the important skills of growing food and harvesting your own meat and sustenance from the wilderness? I hope so. Join us as the new world commences. One day at a time. One seed at a time. Proper prior planning prevents piss poor performance. And that's a boom. Be safe. We love you.